Hi, we're going to talk about compression. One of the topics that we bring up um, with all of our customers, customers and that we've talked about is how we save data to QVD files and the fact that we compress that data. That's a hard topic to understand, so it's a lot easier if we can see it in action. I have a demographic data file that has about 500,000 patient records with various fields of information like that. That information in Excel takes about 173 meg because each and every one of these bytes of data is actually stored. Click does not do that. We use a columnar form where we take just unique values. So where I have 500,000 male female records, I'm actually going to have two with click and then simply bit pointers to it. The same for admission type, discharge type, states, cities, everything. We're storing just unique values. So what I'm going to do is jump into click. I want to tell it I want to read that demographics file. It'll load the data up. You can see we're reading all of that information, every field that came from Excel. Now all I'm doing, instead of keeping the information just in the application itself, I'm going to store it into a QVD file using this command. The store command lets me store to QVDs. There's also some other types that you can also export. But this is going to demonstrate what's going to happen as I save that data. I'm going to tell the system I want to reload, which is going to force it to read the 500,000 rows and then store it. So I click reload, he loads the data up. If I were to try to show you a field, I could show you he does have those 500,000 patient IDs. And if I go back out to here, you'll see I've got 173 meg was what my raw data is, but the QVD is compressed at about 97%. So you don't have to worry about the fact you may have gigabytes and gigabytes of raw data in your database. When we talk about QVD compression, this is what we mean. And this should help you understand the concept a little bit. We're just keeping the unique values and some pointers. And we really do get remarkable savings in terms of our storage algorithm.